I'm Jonathan Dando from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. So what does consumer control mean to you, John? It means I have control of what goes on in my life. And if I don't have that control, then I might as well be put back in a nursing home or back into a rehab center where I was seven years ago. I had an ex I had an accident. Or no no, it was nine years ago. I had an accident on December twenty first, two thousand three. I was I was eighteen at the time and uh I was taking my girlfriend at the time back to work and uh, all I had to do was go 900 more yards around that bend and then I'd have been good to go. I, I wouldn't be in this wheelchair at the time or after, if I would not have made, if I'd have made that bend I wouldn't have been in this chair and then it would be so different but now I'm in this chair and I'm making my mom have a job that she had to quit her job at the time. She worked at Big Lots and uh, and my dad just had open heart surgery and he hasn't worked since January and uh, we're in April. That's four months. No work, no paycheck. And, and mom's paycheck is all we have coming in. So if you take away her ability to work for Dawn Services, then, uh, uh, and then I don't know what we'd do. We'd, uh, I'd have to go back and do a rehab center where I was. Well, John, uh, you know, Tell us a little bit about what receiving your services at home instead of that nursing home means to you. This is what you were. This is what I was. At the time I was in the rehab center, they they didn't take care of me very much as much as my mom would. And uh, if I stayed in that rehab center, uh, then I'd and then I'd be dead. And I, I, I was 134 pounds before my accident. I went down to 80 pounds in three months' time. And, and I came home on Mother's Day, of all days. I came back to my mom on Mother's Day. And now, what a gift that was. And and now I've 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 I'm almost I've almost died twice in my lifetime. I'm 26 years old, and uh, I don't want to go back into a rehab or a nursing home center because I got a lot more of my life that I want to do stuff. And uh, my mom taught me everything I needed to know about anything and uh, I was whenever I was in that rehab center uh, I had been given the grossest food mayonnaise and all that stuff I did not eat nor do I like I had I was given fish, even though I'm allergic to it, mm. and then I broke out into hives, and and then I had a big glob of chicken in my mouth, and I was there for over two hours until my mom came and she found it, and then she made me spit it out. And now, if my mom wouldn't have come down there to see me, then I'd probably choke on that chicken, and. And then, and then I probably would have died then, too. And they tied you. And they tied me to the bed because I would rip stuff. They, they tied my hands to the bed. And 
they gave me, I was on 13 different types of medication, 13 different kinds of pills, and, and that sedated me, and, and that's what they wanted. They wanted to keep me under their control, which was me being quiet, and, and, they, went, and they went to deal with me no more. Hey, John, um, look at the camera, okay, and pretend that camera's got the Governor Corbett, and, and, and <laughs> tell the Governor what, personally, what you feel about this. Uh, I want to stay home so I can watch football. <laughs> and, and, and if you take that away, and then I'll have to miss my football. <laughs> and, and I like to go to the movies. In nursing homes, you can't do that. And, and, and I was not allowed to leave in Harmerville either. And, and, and in this town, all, the only football you can watch is the local teams. Pittsburgh Steelers. Go Steelers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and as you can see, I'm not a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> but cut, cut. No. <laughs> no. And but I don't have a problem with them. They're just not my team. I watch them with my dad, and and I can't watch them with my dad if I'm in a nursing home. Right. And, and I do things at home, and, and I can't go to the movies if I'm at a nursing home. And, and nursing homes are where old people go. Like, like my grandma. And, and, and do I look old to you, Governor? No. They're for people that give up. And, and, and do I look like I, and do I look like I got, and do I look like I'm gonna give up? Governor? And I need and I need, a, and I need attendance because I can't tie my shoe or put my shoes on, nor can I put my pants on. And, I, and my mom, she has to shower me and bathe me and and before my accident, I never would have let that happen. And, and because I made that mistake nine years ago, going to buy cigarettes. I, I had to end up in this wheelchair because I had a brain injury and a stroke on top of that. And I, I can't, well, I can read, but I, I just can't see it because I'm blind in my right eye. And, and the stroke affected my left eye. And I want to be able to enjoy staying at home where I belong so I can watch my football. And, and the services at dawn are are fantastic because they pay my mom enough money to survive on otherwise we would die and and I don't want to die because I must die three times in my life and, and and I do here is I hang out with all my friends here in fitness I work with that Dave guy in the fitness and he's helping me move or be mobile and and they do a lot of things for my family.